Hi everyone, welcome to one more video recipe. Today we are making a zebra cake that is a no-bake cake, quick and easy to make and it has a great taste. If you like vanilla, feel free to try that taste as well. In that case, add a little bit of rum. Today we are making only the chocolate version, but with vanilla it is great as well. For this recipe you will need 400 grams of round biscuits. As you can see, my biscuits had some holes too, so my zebra cake got a few squares too. You will need also 3 deciliters of milk, 150 grams of chocolate, 125 grams of margarine or butter, 1 bag of chocolate pudding powder, 4 tablespoons of powdered sugar and 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder. From 3 deciliters of milk, put 2 deciliters in a pot and bring it to boil. Immediately add the powdered sugar too. Stir it occasionally to prevent burning on the bottom of the pot. Mix the pudding powder and a tablespoon of the cocoa powder. Add the leftover cold milk and mix it until lump free. Once the milk starts simmering, remove it from the stove. Stir in the prepared pudding mixture and if needed, put it back to the heat until it thickens. You should get a nice thick pudding. Now add the butter or margarine and stir until it completely melts in. Cover your tray with a saran wrap. Put a generous teaspoon of filling on each biscuit, stacking them in a row until you use all your round biscuits and the chocolate filling. Roll the cake in a cling film and leave it on a tray in the fridge overnight. It will harden and you'll finally be able to cut it. For the topping, melt the chocolate. Add a piece of margarine or a tablespoon of oil to prevent the glaze from cracking while you cut it. Cover the whole cake with the chocolate and put it back in the fridge for at least 15 minutes until the chocolate glaze hardens. Cut the cake with a slashed cut. Each piece should be 1 cm wide. This way we are getting nice striped cookie pieces or zebra stripes. Enjoy these soft zebra cake slices. If you like this recipe, hit the like button, share with your friends and if you are new here, subscribe and never miss any of my simply delicious recipes.